Of epidemiologist has a warning for anyone who thinks students should be returning to school this year. He says many more children may have COVID-19 than what's been reported, and sending children back to the classroom would be a big mistake. Ed and your size Justin Shecker spoke with a Polk County family still fighting this virus. My kids are doing much better. A week ago, Ed on your side introduced you to this family of five from Winter Haven. Danny Jones, his wife, and three daughters each contracted the contagious coronavirus. My middle child, uh, for the most part, uh, was asymptomatic, just a slight cough. His youngest, a 10 year old, was crying herself to sleep at night uh, because of the pain. And his 16 year old daughter had to go to the hospital for shortness of breath and dehydration. Mom and dad couldn't go with her and she was really, really scared. So there's a lot of challenges um, that, you know, with, with kids getting the virus. Jason Salemi is an epidemiologist at USF. There are 74 million children in the United States, and so even a low risk can result in big numbers uh, of children that are affected, especially when we don't know what proportion of the population will get the virus. Salemi and researchers from USF say if up to 25% of the U.S. population becomes infected with coronavirus this year, nearly 50,000 children could end up hospitalized with severe illness. I'm cautiously optimistic that we won't get anywhere near those upper end estimates that we were projecting because people are using thorough and frequent hand washing, they're practicing social distancing. So let me tell Zane on your side, those mitigation factors must continue. He's glad phase one of the president's reopening America plan does not include schools. I think that's a no-brainer. Having watched his daughters fight the virus, Jones says students should learn virtually for the rest of the year. Even if my kids were healthy, I would I wouldn't feel comfortable sending them back to school right now. And tonight I learned from that USF epidemiologist that at least seven children in Florida with COVID-19 have been admitted to a pediatric ICU. Nationwide, he says that number is 128. Reporting in Tampa, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.